In almost all the great parishes they choose from among the daughters of the most wealthy farmers, a young maid for the Queen of May. She's dressed in the gayest and best manner they can and is attended by about 20 others. In opposition to her is the Queen of Winter, who's a man dressed in women's clothes with woolen hoots, fur tippets and loaded with the warmest and heaviest habits one upon another. Both being equipped as proper emblems of the beauty of the spring and the deformity of the winter, they set forth from their respective quarters, the one preceded by violins and flutes, the other with the rough music of the tongs and the cleavers. Both companies march till they meet on a common and their trains engage in a mock battle. After this ceremony, having danced a considerable time, they conclude the evening with a feast.